Why hello Chan Teams, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing some cuts on my face because it's Halloween season and so what are we waiting for? Let's get right into the video! So I went ahead and did my makeup off camera and now we are back. I went ahead and used the Hard Candy Smoothing Primer Balm, the Milani Foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, the e.l.f. Putty Br uh, Blush and Putty Bronzer, the Nikita Dragon Eyeshadow Palette, the Total Temptation uh, Mascara by Maybelline, the My Cherry and More lip gloss and the Jason Wu lip liner and I also use the e.l.f. Electric Mood X Tovlo brows and I used the Well People Bio Bronzer and I also used the L'Oreal Paris uh, True Match Lumi Glotion for my highlight and now on to the cuts. So first I'm going to go ahead and do the forehead. So I'm just going to remove a little portion of my makeup. Yes, I know I just did it, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and use my scar wax and a palette knife to just scoop the scar wax out. So I'm, I went ahead and took the scar wax. Now I'm just going to go ahead and mold it into a little bit and place that on my forehead. I'm just going to go ahead and use some Vaseline to allow me to blend it out a little better without it sticking to my fingers. And I'm just going to go ahead and scrape that little bit. off and blend in more so now that I haven't blended out I'm gonna go ahead and use the palette knife to just make an incision now I'm just opening that up a bit And now that that's done, we could go ahead and uh, use some translucent powder to just make it so that it doesn't shine as much. And now I'm going to go ahead and use a Use Nicole from the Nikita Dragon palette and just add some red into the cut before adding the blood. And I'm going to go ahead and take the foundation again on my mixing palette and just dab on a sponge and just apply my foundation Now 
use a beauty blender to just blend that bit out. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my blood and just put that onto the palette as well. Not my actual blood, but blood from a bottle. And just put that into the cut. And it's okay if it drips out. That is perfectly fine. I'm just going to go ahead and do it to where it's dripping down my forehead. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and clean off a little bit of my cheekbone and do the exact same thing and I'll do a couple others but I'm gonna do just two on camera and then I will do the rest uh, like another one off camera and show the finished look Adding that Vaseline again to this one and now the cheekbone makeup will be a little bit diff uh, different because I had blush and all of that on. I'm gonna go ahead and use the palette knife to just Remove that bit. And now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and just do an incision. Gonna go ahead and open it up. Now I'm just the reason why I'm looking down farther is because my mirror is right in front of me. Just gonna go ahead and set it with the translucent powder. And gonna go ahead and use that red again. And where did the brush go? Right here. Just going to go ahead and add the blood. Sometimes some won't look as good as others, but I'm going to go ahead and do some more on the other side of my face and be right back. So I went ahead and added another cut on this side and I, ha I added the 
blood to drip down onto the side, like down the side of the face, along with this one. This one would be caught by the brow, obviously. But I am really loving this look. Maybe I'll actually do it for Halloween, like passing out the candy and everything. But it literally looks like I got into a fight and got cut up. Or I could just be a walking skeleton. Not skeleton, but walking zombie. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me have a thumbs up in this section down below. Don't be a comment down below. Any video ideas you want me to do. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye guys. Love you.